Good morning, guys. I'm just trying to balance you on a candle. No, that's better. Hello, good morning, guys. I hope you're all doing really well. I thought I'd start vlogging. I wasn't gonna vlog today. I just woke up feeling so rubbish, like really low, and I put it down to hormones. I was like, why am I feeling bad? And yeah, it's definitely PMS. I had a rather unproductive morning, but I know if I'm unproductive for the rest of the day, I'll feel even worse. So I'm making an effort to get things done now. First and foremost, I need to do my nails because they're quite grown out. Some of them are a little bit chipped and I hate filming when my nails aren't done. So I'm gonna do my nails myself. So the brand I use for at home is called Manicurist. I worked with them on my Instagram a while ago and their stuff is just really good. It's like vegan, very natural, doesn't damage your nails. It's kind of like gel nails, but a lot more of a natural alternative. I'll see if I still have a code. I feel like it's probably expired, but I will um, message them and see if I can get it renewed again. Okay guys, and then look, this is the cool part. After just one minute, you literally just peel it off. Like, there's no damage to your undernail. You don't have to like file it off. Like, look at that, it just falls off. So cool. Okay, so everything is shaped and filed. I've gone for like a short square. And then all you do is put on the base, the color, and then the top coat. Put it in the lamp, which is this, and then you're done. I wasn't 100% sure if I was PMSing or not, but now I know that I definitely am. I'm crying because I had a brief come through um, or like a contract come through with the brand that I really want to work with. It's a brand that I've worked with like 10 times before, but I'm really happy. It's not even that much of a big contract. It's just like a one-off reel, but I'm just really happy about it. <laughs> yeah, it's safe to say. I'm definitely doing my period well. Anyway, guys, I've done my nails. Um, I probably could have done them a little bit neater to be honest but i'm also quite conscious of time i've already taken it quite slow this morning and i really want to get on with work so only thing is though i'm filming a makeup tutorial this morning and when i cry i get very puffy in the face so i'm gonna ice roll now let me show you guys something i am a big fan of ice rolling where should i put you so yeah i'm a big fan of ice rolling and this is the one i have at the moment which is good but it's quite faffy. It's not very user friendly. I have them both linked down below, but this one is a lot more user friendly because it doesn't drip and it just is what it is. You don't have to fill it up. It comes in a case as well, so it's very hygienic. Oh, this is lovely. And I'm sure you guys already know the benefits of ice rolling, but there are so many. But the reason I like it is it really deep past my face. I notice a big difference. Um, it tightens your skin. It also just, I don't know how, but it makes your skin super super smooth and yeah this one is just great the only thing i don't like about this one is it's not as freezing freezing cold because this one is literally ice whereas this one is just kind of like ice cold so this one doesn't feel quite as cold and my skin doesn't get as red that's another thing it's really good for blood blood circulation and my skin just goes bright red and then i feel like it's really working but this is a little bit more gentle so I like using them both. I guess it depends what you want it for. The good thing about this as well, because there's no water, it doesn't drip all down you because with the pink one, with this one, the ice literally drips all down you. So I have to wear like a dressing gown or do it over a sink or something. And also look, it gives you a bit of a glow as well. Um, but yeah, ice rolling is like one of my favorite beauty hacks. I think it is such an inexpensive way of making your skin look and feel amazing. I so wasn't gonna vlog today, I really wasn't in the mood. But now I've picked up the camera and I'm vlogging and I'm chatting to you guys, I feel so much better. I just, I love you guys so much, you guys know this already, but being able to talk to you guys, even though you guys aren't technically here, it's really nice. Okay guys, so I need to get ready. B and I have got a dinner reservation, then we might do some shopping and then we have an event this evening with L'Oreal. So I thought it might be helpful to maybe somebody out there to show you guys how I put outfits together, especially when I'm in a bit of a rush. I've got about 10 minutes until we need to leave. So the first thing I do is think about the weather. It is horrible, it is not summer outside. It is kind of cold, it's a little bit rainy, 
but the event tonight is all around SPF so it's quite like a summery style event. I have to think about that then I think about how adventurous slash lazy am I feeling. Can I be bothered or do I have time to put an outfit together? In this case, I don't. And then third of all, how do I want to feel in this outfit? Do I want to feel cool? Do I want to feel classy? Do I want to feel comfy? And then I kind of center around that. So because I don't have time, I know I need to wear either a dress or a two piece set. So I don't have to style a whole outfit together. I'm also thinking it needs to have sleeves or at least be able to wear a blazer over the top. So, okay, I know exactly what I want to wear. This dish dress fits the vibe. I want to feel kind of comfortable, but I also want to look quite like dressy because it's an event. So this dish dress fits the vibe perfectly. I can wear it with, hmm. Um, guys, I just had to really quickly run in the shower because I remembered I had a bit of fake tan on. And this dress is the kind of dress you don't really want to wash if you can help it. Oh, and I really need to powder my face as well. I'm incredibly shiny. Okay, and then the best thing about this dress is this bit here where you can cinch your waist right in. I wish that all dresses had this because as somebody who doesn't have much of a waist, if I can try and enhance what I've got, I will. Okay, guys, and here is the look. I was going to wear some little heels, but... I don't know, I'm just not really feeling it. So I've just popped on my Chanel ballet flats instead. So B and I are in Oka. Uh, it's in Kingly Court and um, we've got lots of sushi and tempura, we've got some aubergine as well on its way. Um, but yeah, I really love the sushi here, it's like chilled and like good sushi. I think we also all need to take a moment to one, appreciate these new glasses and two, appreciate these eyelashes. Sorry, this is so close up, but oh my god, look at her eyelashes. They're great, we've always had good eyelashes, but they're next level now. Yeah, they, they've always been long, but this is a new extreme. This is an extreme. These been using a new lash serum. So we finished up at Oka. I really love the sushi there. It's just easy, isn't it? Sorry, I was just looking at myself there. I look really <laughs> one Uh Yeah, no, it's really nice there. Um, and then we're now going to this event with L'Oreal. They've just launched a new SPF. And I'm very intrigued to see what it's like because I'm quite fussy of SPFs. Um, and that is at Joya in Battersea, which has been on my list of places to go to. It's a restaurant, but I think it also kind of turns into like a event space as well. It's got like beautiful views over the power station and um it's supposed to be really nice for food as well so if you've eaten there let me know so i'm interested to know if it's actually nice or if it's just more of an instagram spot please go round the roundabout and then turn left thank you yeah 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 perfect thank you We had a lovely time at the event, didn't we? Yeah, really nice. This was lovely. Goodie bag, and guess what's in the goodie bag? Not only the L'Oreal products. Which I'm really excited about. I know, they're raving about them, the uh, PR like, girls. When That's I say I'm an SP... When I say I'm an SPF queen... She is. I'm an SPF queen. This girl is Irish. She needs her SPF every single day of the year. I went to Copenhagen. It was raining and windy. I got some But not only did we get that, we got cookies. L'Oreal We were saying that, oh, where are we going to get our cookies from on the way home? We'll go to maybe this shop or maybe this shop. They're in the goodie bag. The so, goodie the plan is we're going to taxi. Because what, it's only, what, it's nine o'clock. Taxi, home. Yeah. Shower. Pajamas. I make the tea. You do the bunny. No, can you make the tea? Yeah. I, tea tastes better when someone else makes it for you. Bunny cuddles. And then we're going to watch Hijack because Grace keeps on banging on about it. So I've seen quite a lot of people. So we saw someone else's story as well. Everyone's talked about it. Yeah, maybe it was Sarah Ashcroft. I think she was watching it. Yeah. So I'm going to watch Hijack. That's going to be really nice. What was that quote from Elf? 
and then we're gonna snuggle. Like, uh, we're gonna bring gingerbread houses and snuggle. <laughs> That's us. <laughs> Their child. First step in today. <laughs> oh my god, he's so cute. Look how big his eyes are. Is that nice? Big eyes. <laughs> That's not even a thing. How do you know it's going to say that? I know you too well. That's so funny. Was actually going to say that. <laughs> what are you eating first? Oh, um, oh, oh, I'm eating the SPF. Morning guys, I have had lots of deliveries this morning so I wanted to do a little haul with you guys. I've already tried everything on so I know how it fits. So first up is a little skims via Harrods. If I can ever build up my Harrods points, I do try and do that. So it's this long, long, long maxi dress. It's got a slight rib to it. Let me see if I can show you. It's got a bit of a rib to it. It is incredibly soft and a little bit like slinky. I'm a huge fan of Skims. I love their underwear. I love their loungewear. I love I love their leggings, but I've never tried their dresses. Um, I tried this on and it's so, so flattering. It really pulls you in at the waist and it just looks so elegant. This is perfect because it's the kind of thing you can wear just around the house lounging and it makes you feel so elevated and like put together which is obviously what we want when we're working from home and maybe feeling a little bit like slobbish. Straps are adjustable, I have to say it's a little bit long, I'm five foot four and it does trail on the ground slightly but with heels this would be fine because you could also dress this up with heels and wear it as like a holiday piece or or just out for dinner. It's a very versatile dress. I'm very happy with this purchase. So I buy this in an extra small and this was £78. Skims is on the pricier side, but it's one of those brands where what you pay for is what you get. The quality is unmatched. I've tried Skims dupes and they're close, but they just don't quite compare. So next up, you guys might remember, I have been on the hunt for the perfect pair of summer white tailored trousers with the front seam going down. And I found them. They're from a brand called Andiata. I also ordered like this beautiful top, it's on pre-order, and they just have like really gorgeous, elevated basics, like just really classy stuff. So these trousers are just exactly what I was looking for. They're not bright, bright white, they're like almost an off-white, which is perfect. They have this lovely pressed tailoring going all the way down, which gives them that real elegance and such a like smarter look compared to trousers that don't have that and i wanted these for like smart things so that's why i went wanted this front seam and they're gorgeous they are a little bit big so i got them uh tailored at the waist and at the bottom as well got a few inches off the bottom these were on the pricier side but i knew this was going to be an item that is in my wardrobe for as long as it lasts so it's definitely worth investing in those pieces i also did a massimo duty order this actually arrived a week before last um, you would have seen the cardigan in my last vlog. I absolutely love the cardigan. It's like cream, knit, black piping, gold buttons. It's gorgeous. But I also picked up this, and I haven't actually tried this on until today. So it's inside out. Um, I have the cream version of this, and I love it. I just find it's really flattering. It's a very easy basic. Again, it's that slightly elevated basic. So it's this top, it's kind of like a top cardigan, but it's more of a top. Three buttons going down, it's so soft, amazing quality. The cream looks a lot more casual, but I think the black is suited and actually like perfect for office wear. So I just thought this would be really nice for meetings. I can dress it with like some black trousers, even like a little black skirt or something like that. And it's just very, oh, and as well with these white trousers together, these look really lovely. These are just some new in basics in my wardrobe and I'm very excited to wear and use all of them a lot. I also went into Massimo Duty yesterday because I wanted to do a haul, but there just wasn't enough stuff that I was like, oh, I love this. To show you guys so i just thought no i'm not going to do it and there's no point showing you stuff that i kind of like there was one well two pieces though that were so up my street it was like this beautiful navy co-ord and oh, i fell in love with it but the smaller size that they did was extra small and it came up very large which is weird because normally extra small in massimo duty is fine i'm sad about that but um yeah you got a little mini haul anyway 
Hello my loves, I'm making a bit of a habit of finishing off my vlogs in other countries. Last time I was in Germany, this time I'm in Corsica. Um, I'm here with my boyfriend, well I'm not here with my boyfriend. I travelled by myself, my boyfriend is meeting me here later. Staying in a hotel tonight and then tomorrow our friends are hosting us for the week. They have a house here and I'm very excited because I have never been to Corsica and also we have no plans. They know uh, the island very well so they're kind of going to be showing us around and taking us to the best places I'm sure. But also I'm a little bit nervous because I'm very much... Uh, used to having a plan and being very much in control and I didn't know what to pack I've got no idea what we're doing this week I don't know if it's like a chill holiday a sporty holiday a drink loads of wine holiday I've got no idea I'm gonna do my best to vlog do little daily vlogs on TikTok and YouTube shorts if I can I'm not gonna promise anything because I don't know what it's gonna be like I don't know what we're actually doing but yeah make sure you look out for those thank you so much for watching this video guys I love you all so 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 much and I will see you, not next week, but the week after. Bye.